Welcome back to another episode of the Bill series. This episode, we're going to talk about light. As you already know, we're talking about light. So, what better way to reveal the tank, what's going on, than to do an episode on the light. So, you probably just seen the light that I had on there previously. As I said, that was temporarily. Um, it's a, it was a Zoomed LED. Um, I know people have told me to do T5s because the cores are going to go, go crazy and grow and all that happy jazz but me personally I, I just I'm going to stick to LEDs just for the multiple reasons costs just wattage just you know long term longevity so the one I decided to go with as you can see is lighting the tank nicely not sitting on top of the tank but the one I decided to go with is that right there I'm going to show you a little bit more about it in this unboxing that I did and when we come back we're going to dig a little bit deeper into it which there's not much to it it has four controls on there two switches that controls the blues and the full spectrum light, the white, greens, reds and all that and you have two knobs that basically all they do is the intensity so let's dive into that check it out see what it looks like up close in person and then I'll give you a wide shot here and tell you what I think about it. Alright, so we'll be right back.
side shot here of the tank. As you can see, the light is doing really well. I can't complain. I haven't had any issues. I, I set it, forget it, put it on timer. Um, there's no automation with this light, meaning you can turn it on and off by the switches, but there's no timer or anything like that. So I have them on each plug on a timer. The whites come on at two, goes off at nine, and the blues comes on at 12 and goes off at 12. So it gives me lots of viewing time with the tank with the blues and also with all the lights on. And then at 12 o'clock it goes dark until 12. But the tank still gets light because I have some pretty big windows like right in front of it. So it, it, it's doing good. Right now, you can't, you can probably not tell, but let, let's get up here off the tripod and we'll go take a look. So let's take a deeper dive into what the tank looks like with this light on there. I'm pretty happy so far. So as you can see back there, there's not like a whole lot of light and that's, that's because the, the skimmer box is right there, which it's okay, I can use that as a low light area. Um, it gets a lot of flow back there because all the water is being pulled that way from that pump and the uh, skimmer pump. So ever since I turned the light on, of course, I'm getting lots of diatoms. All the corals you can see here open up nicely. My to leather right there. Kenya tree right there. Mushrooms, zoanthids. There's a ras. There's a neon, neon something. I don't remember what it's called. Anyway, moving on. Got some kryptonite candy cane right there. That coral right there. It's an acropora, I think, but. I mean, I don't. I'm not. I'm not an SPS kind of guy, so I'm still trying to figure that out. But looking at it, it doesn't look like it's doing all that hot. But again, it's only been in the tank for probably like two weeks, so we'll see how that turns out. Got some more zoas down here. These zoas be going on this rock right here. I'll be taking them off the plugs put them up there but I want to get some more these polyps right here along with these right here that are not open because of that crab they're probably gonna be going on that rock up there I'm still not sure where the torch tools going but we'll figure that out now over to this side it's not making it out on the video, but along, all along the rocks and the sand bed and everything, you, you probably can see a little bit of darkness, but there's all diatoms everywhere, which my wife was happy to see. So she knows the process. She knows how, you know, when I did my other tanks, how it gets ugly before it starts getting beautiful. This guy right here, let's talk about this guy right here. Guy right here is loving life. So while I was putting the cores in the tank, I needed somewhere to put the, this this Duncan. It's not on the plug or anything because I took it out of the plug. I was gonna glue it to the rock, but I threw it between this little crevice right here. And as soon as I threw it in there, he just opened up and just just loved that spot. So I left him. I left him alone. Here, what do we have? We have the Duncan right there at the top right. And at the top left, we got Frog Spawn. Um, the lighter one at the bottom, it was actually on a plug, and um, while it had two heads on there. While taking it off, I broke, the, I broke the, the frag. So I just glued both of them right there. 
glue the other one on top well on, on like a ledge part of it so that should grow out real nice um, thinking about putting a torch or something like that in the back and then right there in front of you that tomato clown is loving life that hammer coral I've had in my tank in my 20 for just about the duration of the entire tank and that clown loves it there in the top basically almost at the top I put my other Duncan frag over here and he's loving life all the heads popped out and they're just swaying in the wave loving it this is what the light looks like on the tank lots of room in between you can work without you know you'll have two knobs right there that's the power two knobs right there right side is blues left side is whites so looking good I forgot to mention is this guy a guy there is a chalice so we're gonna see how he does in this tank it's the beginning man it's the beginning everything gotta do its thing fishes are doing absolutely wonderful I put the wrasse in he dug into the sand for two days then he popped out a couple of days later the clowns tomato and, and oscillators or procured or whatever the hell they are um, tank race clowns they, um, they've always been out the neon he does his thing the damsel he does his thing everybody seems to be fine so that's a look at the light hope you enjoy and catch me on the next one